Just a few months ago, these four Global Mission Pioneers came together from different parts of Nigeria to begin working in this unreached community. Like the Apostle Paul, who often ministered with a companion, there is strength in numbers. Every day, these pioneers gather around the table for worship and to invite God to go with them as they carry a message of hope to the people in their city. And if you ask them why they're here, I decide to be a global mission pioneer because I see that there is, need, there is a need for people to hear the gospel. Because when we look at around this vicinity, we see that there is a lot that has not been that have not been heard from the Bible. And I feel that the only way I can do that is to come out here as a pioneer and reach out to people around this place. I like this pioneer uh, job because it makes me to spread the gospel to the whole world. The reason why I come to be global mission partner be because as I see the, the the truth, I want people to 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 know. The reason why I am interested in this uh, pioneering work is to uh, execute the work that God has given to me. These pioneers are answering God's call to serve and he has created great opportunities for them to connect with their neighbors. But over the last few months, they've also faced some major challenges. When we get to some places, we see that they don't accommodate us, they chase us away. We find out that apart from the spiritual aspect that we are giving to them, they are also in need of physical things, which we saw that we have to get in touch with them. Maybe some people have sickness, some people don't have food to eat. Some people don't have, even, there's no have house to live. So, a lot of challenge. In fact, 95% of them, they are needy people. And uh, they see us as the person that can uh, solve their problem. The next thing is to tell us what they are facing. It's not easy meeting the needs of people because without meeting their physical need, there's no way we can meet their spiritual need. With time and caring, the pioneers have become friends with many of their neighbors. Mrs. Adewale runs a small business on the side of the road selling food. She is well known in the neighborhood and everyone seems to come to her stall to buy something. Some days as she prepares food, the pioneers will sit with her and teach her from the Bible. Mrs. Adewale looks forward to those days so she can ask questions and learn more. She is just one of the many people they have connected with in town. We shall sing on the now a small group meets each Sabbath to worship and study scripture. Many of the members in this congregation have recently given their hearts to Jesus and the pioneers are committed to growing this family of believers. As they continue to work in this city, they ask for your prayers. We can't change souls. It's only God that can change souls. And only prayer that I'm expecting from the church is to pray for the changing of hearts. The most important thing I would like people to pray for is the power of the Holy Spirit. Pouring out the Holy Spirit upon us to walk beyond our imagination. Thank you for supporting Global Mission Pioneers in challenging areas. Your prayers and support make a huge difference in lives around the world. <laughs>